Night. Police, thank you. And in just the last hour, we have learned that suspect died after a crash. Our Tevis Hill is now in Kingfisher County for us where the suspect crashed. Tevis? Well, again, OCPD has confirmed that suspect has died. He was inside that red Challenger. I want to let you know I'm on top of a hill here on Highway 33, where the large pre police presence is, is right behind me. It might be difficult to see, but I want to show you. Take a look right behind me. It's 44 minutes away from that Hobby Lobby headquarters where the shooting happened. Now, right now on scene, there's tactical teams, their armor, dogs, and loudspeakers, and they've all been working to safely approach the suspect in that red Challenger. We know at 7:15 this evening, a pursuit began when agencies located the suspect. The male driving down I-35 southbound entered Guthrie, then went on Highway 33 West, and this is where we are right now. That pursuit continued. The suspect now speeding, lost control, and rolled multiple times. Trooper Eric Foster says their plan in these types of situations are to systematically and safely approach a suspect. When someone has already shown a violent, uh, a violent tendencies to to take someone's life, uh, we know that uh, there is a possibility that they would harm law enforcement officers or even harm uh, people that live in the area. Again, the uh, alleged suspect that uh, it matches the initial claims to who they believe was that shooter has passed away. Again, that is still all trying to be confirmed. We do have the medical examiner on the scene as to how that person died in the Red Challenger. Live on Highway 33 this evening, Tevis Hillis, Oklahoma Zone News 9. All right, Tevis, of course, this is an ongoing situation. We'll have more details as they are released by police. Now, we want to say we reached out to Hobby Lobby, who then referred us back to law enforcement.